Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5. Starting at number 5. Yamaha Reface CS. The Yamaha Reface series of instruments are tributes to some of their most successful classic products. The Reface CS is a digital subtractive synthesizer, inspired primarily by Yamaha's iconic CS. 80 analog synth from 1977. It's based around an A-Euro analog physical modeling engineer Euro that digitally simulates analog circuitry, and that provides multiple synth and oscillator types. It features 8-note polyphony and a mono mode that lets you layer all the oscillators to create an extra fat solo sound. Modeled sounds include pulse and multi-saw waveforms, ring modulation, and FM. Unlike its ancestor, the Reface CS is designed to be light and portable. Weighing just 4 pounds, 3 ounces, it features a keyboard of 37 velocity-sensitive mini keys and can be powered by a uh, batteries, as well as the usual AC adapter. Likewise, it includes an internal 2-watt stereo amp and stereo 1.2 inch speakers. Coming at number 4. Sequential Pro 3. Rounding out the selection of monophonic keyboard synths in the venerable Sequential Pro 3. Introduced in 2022, it builds on the classic Pro 1 and Pro 2 models from the 1980s. The Pro 3 features three oscillators, two traditional VCOs and one wavetable oscillator with 32 tables of 16 waves with morphing. It also includes classic analog filters like a 4-pole LP from the Sequential Profit 6, a 2-pole filter from the Oberheim OB 6. Furthermore, this can continuously vary between LP, notch, BP, and HP. A full-featured sequencer provides 16 tracks of up to 64 steps with multiple playback modes. It can sync to MIDI clock and external audio input, and also input slash outputs control voltages. And sequence tracks can control any parameter in the Pro 3's 32 slot, 171 destination modulation matrix. At number 3. Moog Grandmother Semi, DR. Robert Moog invented the modular voltage-controlled synthesizer over 60 years ago. His company still produces some of the best instruments available. The Moog Grandmother is a modern semi-modular analog synth. It incorporates circuits based on their Model 15 and Mini Moog. An external input jack makes it effective as an audio processor for external inputs. The grandmother has two VCOs with selectable waveforms, plus a white noise generator. The oscillators can be synced or configured for linear FM. It also includes a classic 4-pole 10 Hz a Euro, 20 kHz ladder filter and a patchable 1-pole high-pass filter. The modulation LFO includes a sample-slash-hold output to create some unusual sounds. Number 2 of my list. Korg MS-20 Mini. The MS-20 uses conventional subtractive synthesis with VCOs, VCAs, and VCFs. Also, the large patch panel provides extensive variation in the signal routing. It includes two VCOs. VCO1 can be set to a triangle, sawtooth, square-slash-pulse waveform, or pink or white noise. Conversely, VCO2 can be a sawtooth or square wave. Filter resonance is adjustable but not voltage-controlled. The MS-20 Mini also has an LFO A Euro e modulation generator Euro with rate and shape controls, and pulse and sloped outputs. Two envelope generators with trigger inputs are provided. EG-1 is a delay, attack, and release model. On the other hand, EG-2 has hold plus ADSR. Likewise, there are separate modulate VCA, modwheel controller, and trigger button. Although it has no internal sequencer, the MS-20 20 Mini can be connected to an external sequencer with trigger and CV outputs, such as the Korg SQ-1. Finally, it includes a frequency-to-voltage converter, envelope follower, and gate extractor. They can be connected to the VCO CV inputs of the VCOs and envelope generators, so the synth follows your voice or other instruments. And number 1. Behringer Analog Synthesizer. The MS-1 allows you to blend several waveforms. These are triangle, sawtooth, square-slash-pulse, and white noise. 
Plus, there's a square suboscillator set an octave lower. FM capability is also included. So you can create some thick, exciting timbers. The MS-1 has both a multi-mode arpeggiator and a 32-step sequencer. These can store 64 patterns. This includes accents, rests, and glides. Furthermore, it excels as a portable instrument. It comes with fasteners for the included guitar strap and an attachable hand grip with a pitch bend wheel and pitch modulation trigger. Overall, it's a very well-built machine that sounds thick and detailed and is a lot of fun to play. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.